Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. When it's day or night. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, ye soldiers of the cross. This is my message entitled Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. Our little message entitled Stand Up, Stand Up for Jesus. You know we sing the song in the we always sing the song. He says, Stand up, stand up for Jesus. He soldiers of the cross, live by his royal banner, it must not suffer loss. From him victory unto victory, his army shall he lead. Till every foe is vanquished, yes, and Christ is Lord indeed. So whether it's day or night, whatever your circumstances may be, I come to encourage everybody, whether you come from near or far, here or abroad, to stand up, stand up for Jesus. Stand up and be a shining light. Stand up and keep standing on the promises of God because the grass widow and the flowers fade, but the word of God Almighty shall prevail. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you've been through, but I just want to let you know that God loves you. He's looking for you. Whatever your circumstances may be, you may, you may be coming out of a storm. You may be just coming out of a flood. You may experience a fire or a natural disaster. But I'm just here to let you know, my friend, that we need to testify. We need to give God glory and tell about, talk about his redemption story. Let people know how he rescued you, how he saved you, how he delivered you. Let people know where he brought you from. Let people know the situation that was holding you down, that was keeping you down when God brought you out. When God lift you up, when God come through for you in a significant, in an awesome way. Just the fact, a matter of fact, that you wake up this morning is reasons to praise the Lord. So you have reason to stand up and stand out for Jesus. So stand up, stand up for Jesus. He's soldiers of the cross. Be a witness for Jesus in these last days. Why? The night is almost gone and the day is coming on. And we know it must be the breaking of the day. Signs of the time are everywhere. Trouble are everywhere. Left, right, and center. I want to let you know that trouble is everywhere. Left, right, and center. Somebody say, it must be the breaking of the day. I just want to remind you that we are living in a time that God is looking for some Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He's looking for witnesses. He's looking for, like, for example, we have this coronavirus. There will be things that the doctors cannot figure out. There will be things that the scientists cannot work out. I am here to encourage everyone that we need to take our stand in the Bible. As I mentioned earlier, in the book of Daniel chapter 5, there was a king who was living as if there was no God. And after a while, God decided, you know what? I need to let this king know that I am king of kings and lord of Lord. And so in the book of Daniel chapter 5, the Bible said, Belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords. Talking about stand up for God. Because some people get so bad that they're they are acting like there is no fear for God anymore. Things that used to, you used to be careful to do certain things. You never used to do certain things. And now we are, we are acting like God is not alive. And so Belshazzar, the king, know that the vessels of the Lord are holy unto the Lord. And the vessels of the Lord are consecrated to God. But for some reason, Belshazzar, the king, Belshazzar thought it was okay to use the vessels of God. What does that mean, Mr. Baxter? Many of us are taking God for a joke. In this message, I want to let you know, God Almighty wants us to be a shining light for him, a witness for him. Let people know, don't play with God because God is not mocked. What we sow, we might reap. O oh, Lord of mercy. Daniel chapter 5. Belshazzar, a king, who should know better, had a party. And the Bible said in Daniel chapter 5, Belshazzar, the king, made a great feast unto a thousand of his lords, and drank wine before a thousand. 
Belchisar Wallace, he tasted the wine commanded to bring the golden vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple which was in Jerusalem. That the king and his princesses, his wives and his concubines might drink therein. Verse 3 of Daniel 5. Before I get to verse 3, notice that the king, Belshazzar, is a rich man. He have a lot of stuff. He have a lot of cups and plates and all that. But he decided to use the golden consecrated vessels of God for his own party. Many people today in our time is doing things that they know displease God is doing things that God is not pleased with and I'm here to remind somebody look what happened to Belchazar be careful what we do preachers show example of the power of God preachers let people know we cannot play with God and if we are playing stop and if we did not know, we need to stop because it might be too late. It might be too late. So look what happened to Belshazzar in verse 3 of chapter 5 of Daniel. He said, Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God, which was at Jerusalem. And the king and his princesses, his wives, and his cranky wine drunk therein. So watch this. They are having a party. They didn't care for him to invite God but they take the stuff out of the church the temple to drink out of so you are having a worldly party you are having a party that have nothing to do with God but then you are using the vessels of God to drink out of you are disrespecting the house of God in terms of the consecrated vessels and God up in heaven decide I'm gonna step out and step up many of us are doing bad sinful big things and I'm telling you, God is about to step up in our life and show up because a lot of us is acting like there is no God. Belshazzar was drinking wine and having a party with God vessel. And look what happened to him. The Bible says, ladies and gentlemen, in the book of Daniel chapter 5, verse 4. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver and of brass, of iron of, and of wood and of stone. Daniel chapter 5 verse 4. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody read with me. O oh Lord, bless thy word, bless thy word, and bless this person I pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Bible said in verse 4 of Daniel chapter 5 once more. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver, of brass, of iron, of wood, and of stone. Verse 5 in Daniel chapter 5. In the same hour came forth the fingers of a man hand and wrote over against the candlesticks upon the plaster of the wall of the kings. Mm -hmm. Plaster. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Oh, the mercy. <laughs> then the king continence was changed and his thoughts troubled him so that he saw that the joint of his line were loosened and his knees smote one against another. The king cried aloud to bring in the astrologers, the Chaldeans. <laughs> He's calling out for help. The soothsayers and, and the king spake and said to the wise, men of Babylon whosoever shall read this writing and show me the interpretation thereof shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom then came in all the king's wise men but they could not read the writing nor make known to the king the interpretation thereof then was King Belshazzar greatly troubled, and his countenance was changed in him, and his lords were astonished. Why? Because they couldn't figure it out. 
They could not figure out the writing that was written on the wall. Of the king, drink wine out of God's vessel.